side lying adductor pullback. Set up, I wanna start with ball between the knees and I'm gonna have my top foot, I want that in line with my knee or even slightly above my knee, as long as you're not getting a pinchy feeling in your hip pocket area. The second thing I wanna make sure of is that my shins are vertical. So I don't wanna pull my heel back, so you can see this knee angle right here where my heel is way behind my knee. I wanna make sure that my heel is stacked just below my knee, okay? So my shins are almost vertical, if not even slightly more uh, of a positive shin angle. From there, I'm gonna lay on my side. I'm gonna inhale through the nose. When I inhale through the nose, I should feel a little bit of a stretch through the left side of my low back and my upper glute. I, I call it a stretch. Might feel like pressure, may not feel like a typical stretching sensation that you would feel, like if you were gonna stretch your quads and pull your heels towards your butt, you feel a lot of tension in your thigh. It's not gonna be that degree of tension. It's just gonna be some pressure back there. So I'm gonna inhale. You should see like as I inhaled, this part expanded. So that's that stretch or that pressure that I was talking about when you take that inhale. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna exhale out my mouth. As I exhale, I apply pressure into the ball with the inside of my left knee. I'm gonna keep my left foot anchored to the wall, lightly pressing through the inside of my heel and the base of my big toe. You can see how I pull this knee back. I'm using the ball to help with that pullback as I push down into the ball. You're gonna feel the inside of your left thigh, a little bit of left glute. So notice I extend the duration of that exhale. I'm lightly, I'm doing the pullback the entire time and notice how small the range of motion is. The final thing to focus on. As you exhale and do that pullback, think about the bottom of your left glute. You're tilting that down towards the wall. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna create a little bridge underneath your right side here. So right now, I can't slide my hand underneath here because my side's lying on the ground. When I do the exhale, I should be able to make my left hand disappear. If you're getting too much of a pinching sensation in your hip, chances are you've got the feet pulled back too far or you got the foot too high relative to where the knee's at. You want to bring it down a little bit so it's more even. 